Yo, 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 welcome back, people. It is episode five of the raid talk through series. And you'll see in this raid, we've literally loaded straight into labs. We are in a duo. We are with the wonderful Cannon Fodder Foz. He is a close friend of mine. He also streams over on Twitch. If you want to go check him out, I'll leave his link down in the description. Straight off the bat in this raid, we've run from our spawn. We're ADSing down towards parking button because people can spawn down there. I'm going to let this little bit of the raid play out so that you can listen to our comms. I'll try and do this throughout this raid so that I'm not talking over myself and Cannon. Oi, before we carry on, Click the like button. Comment as well. These videos are popping off view-wise, but no one's clicking that like button. Help me out. Share the video around. Show it to your friends. If you're actually enjoying the content, guys, please, like I say, like, comment, sub to the channel. That'd be amazing. Come check me out live at twitch.tv forward slash iminiman. 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. UK time. I'll catch you there. Carry on with the video. Peace. So I just ran under blue offices. Oh, right. He's going to go up to thingy, yeah? Uh, oh, he ran um, He's from... Wait, 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 shush. There's one down, I still. Wait, oh, you shot him. Yeah. So, he's shot the guy. There's blood on the door. I know where one is, but I can also hear another guy down this way on the wood. I thought he was going to come upstairs towards the actual parking button, but he doesn't. He ends up running underneath. So, obviously, at this point, I'm just using the right-hand peek. We've spoke about this in the previous videos. It's all about the right-hand peek. I see the guy run underneath, and I'm like, right, okay, I don't really know what to do here. I think he's going to try and push up the stairs to get behind Cannon. So, uh, again, I'm going to let us talk and explain what we think is going to go on. Oh, I'm in blue office. He, uh, yeah. He's running. One of them's running across to try and get under you, I think. Yeah. I see him. He's dead. Nice. This other one just peaked. I think he's gone into S bend. Yeah, he has. I'm going to push him. All right. Dead. Jeez. I did hear more over towards green side. So, to talk back through that fight, obviously, feel free to rewind it, guys, and watch it back through and see what I'm actually about to explain. But you'll notice that I see the blood. I hear the guy run. He doesn't run on metal. That little second door that I just opened there is uh, it's called boiler. It's metal. So, if it had ran in there, it would have actually made metal flooring. But because he ran into S bend, it didn't. That's how I knew which door he was going to come out of. Also, when I actually approached to try and get the kill, I make sure that I kind of move to the right and not the left. I know that, like, I'm knowing that he's going to have the left swing out of the door to get the kill. Um, and I'm also leaning my character to the right as well, so that when he tries to shoot me, he puts his uh, his aim in my natural body position, head height. He's going to miss. Um, just little little tricks and tips that you can put in and try and implement. Doesn't always work, but uh, it's definitely worth giving it a go. So. At this point, I've also said to Cannon, I feel like I heard people over towards uh, green slash black, which is the complete opposite side of the map. And obviously, black is a very populated area. The keycard's pretty cheap now. It's like the best keycard on the map. They've made it super cheap. Everybody goes there, gets their stims, get their Ledexes. It's great. So at this point, we are paying attention, making sure that any audio that we hear coming across towards us, we, uh, we react upon. But we're also just trying to grab a little bit of loot, see if we can find some cool stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So again, when I'm running, I'm always doing that sort of like free look and looking around and paying attention to what's going on around me. I'm not just sort of like tunnel visioning right in front of me. I make sure I'm like checking everywhere. I wish I could actually get one of those like sort of eye scanners to show people where I'm looking. Whoa. Uh, was that a grenade? No, someone was shooting at me. At you? Right across from, uh, yeah. For, across from, I believe, dark offices. Okay, I'm going to go kitchen. I've ran underneath right. to try and go kitchen, see if I get any audio. Do you even hear me say there that my plan is to actually go to kitchen and try and get some audio? So as I get to the top of these stairs, I stand still immediately. And obviously the reason for that is audio. And then I heard a singular footstep on wood. And I thought that was somebody running sort of underneath hangar. Um, so I obviously go and check this area. And this whole situation is just pretty crazy. So I'll let this... Uh, I'll let me talk in raid and then I'll explain everything afterwards. I've got three guys in hangar. Four. I could be dead here. There's a guy near me. Bro, these have all just walked straight past me. Oh my fucking god. 
bro, 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 I'm scared. Ah! They're all near me. It's a four man. It is literally a four man. So if you're all wondering why I didn't decide to engage in the fight, obviously I'm always begging for PvP. My thought process there is I'm in a pretty bad spot. There's nowhere for me to retreat and, and back up if I do get pushed. If I get nades thrown at me, I'm in a pretty shit spot. Yes, I'm hiding behind the boxes and stuff, but it's not great. And there was three or four of them. I might pick off one or two, but unless I get extremely lucky um, and they all push me singularly, I'm probably going to die. So I thought I'm going to let them run off and then I'll abuse the audio later on and try and catch them off guard. So I end up asking Cannon where he is and we play from there. There's where at are least you? two. Are you in? I'm, I'm still in Violet because okay. I got shot that's at in fine. here. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. You stay in there. Fucking hate being trapped in here. So, uh, like there, I'm literally just stood completely still and I'm just listening for audio. I'm twisting my character's head, trying to get the perfect directional audio and try to work out where they are. I can hear all these nades and stuff. Swing this corner and there's two of them. Just oblivious. Two dead. Nice. Three dead. No, he didn't die. Where is he? Outside kitchen. I'm outside kitchen, but he's the one closer to you. He's in the actual kitchen, but I'm I'm near Redbridge. Oh, I'm the yak and nade in the kitchen. So Cannon helps me out absolutely perfectly here. He throws the nade. The guy kind of has to run away from the nade, and I pick up the kill. I don't really know why he chose to run straight out in the open, but uh, he literally chose to just run straight into my sight. So at this point, I have to sit, start repacking some mags, and I pretty much just said to Cannon, like, I thought there was four. Obviously, I've killed three. I'm pretty sure I heard four. So I hear a couple of extra footsteps. I'm trying to tell him exactly where the guy's coming from. I do have a better perception level than, than Cannon. Um, so I can actually hear an extra like sort of 15% on sort of like the base audio in the game. And uh, yeah, we're trying to just work out where this guy is. Yeah, yeah. I realized I shot a few bullets. Were these the four man that you were fighting then? Or? Uh, well, I wasn't fighting them. I just hit. Because they, I, oh. went, I went towards the back of, of Hangar. And as I got there, they all came running out of server into Hangar and just like fucking ran across. They must have shot. The... Oh, that's you up here. Yeah, I'm I haven't heard park. anyone else. But I have did 100%. You? He's dead. He was prone on Red Bridge. You <laughs> fuck. That's got to be the lobby. That has to be the lobby. Oh, no. Guy over by um, hangar button. I mean, parking button. Fucking hell. Right. I'm, I, I'm underneath parking button at the minute. So you see here, Cannon's been shot from parking button. I've obviously killed everybody from sort of like this side, or at least like we think we have. And he got shot at from down at parking button. So straight away, my plan is to like kind of run around this side area that i just did there making sure that i'm jumping and moving beyond the blocks making it hard for me to get hit i then push forward um cannon comes up the stairs so the comms are good we're explaining that it's me 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 etc etc et and i pull out a grenade i pull out a nade and i'm expecting that if this guy doesn't realize there's two of us he's going to come running out i throw the nade and cannon would be able to pick up the kill turns out guy's not in there he's obviously ran off then but i've seen a green tracer so so we're just re-checking all the areas that we've already checked pre like earlier on previously in the in the raid or whatnot. And uh, I'm making sure that as I'm walking around the corners, again, flashlight is head height. Uh, I'm kind of leaning to the right, etc. And now it is time to just grab the loot. We heard no more audio. We didn't know where this guy disappeared to. So you'll see here, this guy was absolutely stacked. Thor, Bastion, Slap, VSS. He was huge. So it was time to grab the loot. Get out. Wait. Did I, I've looted this one. Oh, I need to loot the one that's on the bridge. The kill on this guy on the bridge is something that you actually want to pay attention to as well. Whenever you're just like kind of going past this area, people do lay underneath this tarp quite a lot. So just pay attention. If they're wearing t-shirts like this guy was, you'll be able to see the, uh, the sort of pale skin on his arms. Um, it genuinely does glow if you've got a torch on and stuff. So pay attention to those types of things. Really important. But yeah, you'll see there we picked up five kills. It was pretty cool. Obviously, we killed the guy early on. 
we killed the two that were stood near each other and then we killed the guy at the end uh well that teammate the one that ran away and then we killed the guy that was laying under the bridge i just thought that was a pretty cool way to show you guys if you have enjoyed it like comment sub all that good stuff and if you want to catch me live like i say twitch.tv forward slash i'll see you there 10 a.m till 5 p.m uk time peace out guys